Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. In today's video I am going to be doing something very exciting. It finally arrived, the Nightmare Before Christmas and Colourpop collaboration. It's finally in my hands. It took two weeks for it to get to the UK, which to be honest is a standard amount of time for Colourpop to actually arrive to me and you know what I was so happy because it got dispatched the same day that I did my order so thank you for Colourpop for doing that um I am so excited about this collection I am like most people these days a really big fan of Nightmare Before Christmas I have been since I was very very young I'm a big Tim Burton fan the creator of this not the director a lot of people seem to get that confused um but when I saw Colourpop were doing a collaboration, I was very excited. Makeup Revolution have done one, I'd say, was it a year ago or two years ago? Less than two years. Um, and that was a nice collaboration. Their highlighters were not very good. The eyeshadow palette that I had is very nice. Um, and then this collection, I felt a little bit lacklustre, to be honest. I felt there were, you know, not, it couldn't, it could have gone better, in, in my opinion. But you know what? I picked up three items i'm very happy that i did because the packaging is just amazing as well so i picked up the eyeshadow palette um which is just amazing i'm so excited it's really weighty because um most ColourPop palettes like the smaller size don't tend to be this heavy so i'm not sure why it's quite sturdy i also picked up one of the jelly eyeshadows so this is the lock one so all three of the trick-or-treaters got one lock shot and barrel um i got lock and i didn't actually realize how dark <laughs> this shade was because i was looking on their website and i was like okay it looks quite dark that's pretty cool it looks purple and then when i saw a review of it I'll, I'll mention that in a minute i saw like the swatching and i was like what okay that's so dark it's almost like a black um but i've never tried jelly shadows before so this is my first time trying one um i'm very excited and nervous because i i don't know how to use them but we'll just see how it goes the packaging is a little bit deceptive because it's like half of it is like empty packaging um, so that's a bit strange and the last thing I picked up is a lipstick so I picked up the Jack Skellington one because it's red and it just really spoke to me I absolutely love um, if I can get it out the the outside packaging is absolutely stunning like Jack loves like he's just like what the fuck is this like have you seen that mean it's amazing uh, but when you open it and you look at the embossing i hope you guys can see it because my lighting is obviously not very good and my camera but the embossing on the lipstick is absolutely stunning and this red is probably one of my favorite types of red um, and you can actually use this as like an ornament which is super cute if you obviously um celebrate christmas i don't celebrate christmas but um if you did and you wanted to just hang up the the packaging that'd be amazing so i already have um my base on everything i'm using is basically ColourPop. the only thing that i'm not using is ColourPop is my setting powder because i currently don't have one so maybe in the future i'll pick something up so we're going to start on the eyeshadow and like i mentioned i picked up the main eyeshadow palette there were a couple of other things that came in this collection which is like eye gems not for me um i can't think what else to be honest it was just some more of these shadows and then it was some more lipsticks i don't think there was anything else if there was i'm gonna put a picture here anyway so in case if you were intrigued i don't know if it sold out i don't know how well it sold because i mean i'm happy that i got it <laughs> so that's all i kind of cared about initially i watched um that girl shay so she's like I think she's quite well known in the makeup community. Um, I've been following her for a few years and she actually has an affiliate code with Colourpop that I use. So I got some money off, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, and she basically does all the eye swatches. So she basically swatches like every shadow, every shade of everything that they pull in this collection. And um, I actually ordered it before I watched her video because of course it's Nightmare for Christmas. How could I not? Um, and so when you look inside the palette, um, I think what it is, it's actually the mirror and the the top which is really heavy so um i about to say revolution colourpop rarely have uh, mirrors in their collection so i was actually really surprised that they have one in this I'm really happy about it i mean you're probably gonna don't want to see my random shit everywhere but i really like the little um 
like presents at the bottom which is awesome and then what what i meant in like i wasn't that happy about the collection is the eyeshadow selection um i don't understand the pinks to be honest and i understand it's like a darker tone because a very dark film like it's a very like gloomy like when you're in halloween town it's obviously very gloomy but when you're in christmas town there's lots of colors and things like that um but the colors just don't seem as pop in but obviously we're still going to do it today i feel like using obviously quite a mixture I, i'm tempted to use this today but i don't know if i should do one so i might do one each because i've been thinking about doing that so on this side i'll use all of these and on this side i will use the shadow however i will use it so let's go on with this first let me get my brush i'm very excited because i yeah i've been like kind of watching the journey from like um is it los angeles that it's from i've got the box of like Cal la um where colourpop like originated so i've been like watching the journey i'm like when is it coming because i didn't want to miss the delivery because obviously i'm working outside of home now so i never know when deliveries are going to turn up so as you can tell i'm very excited in this video so um i am going to start off with where should we go first um i feel like going in with everybody scream <laughs> i love doing like little voices so everybody scream is like a kind of purple tone on the top of any excess because colourpop have a tendency of having a lot of fallout in their palette so i'm using this as like a transition slash um like main shade and we are going to just go on this side but like i said i'm not using this side because i'm using that for the shadow um, and so we're going to put this kind of here. Okay, so when these are like pressed powders, I never really know what it means. I guess it means that they're just pressed differently than normal eyeshadows, which is very interesting. Like I really like Colourpop's formula. A lot of the, like, because obviously they're notorious for having a collection coming out like every day, <laughs> basically. Um, and so when I saw that this collection was coming out, I was like, please don't mess it up because everyone has obviously been asking for this collaboration for so long and so many years um and sometimes brands do knock it out of the park like i said the revolution one that one was very nice but i think it was just a little bit lackluster in the sense of like just amazingness and i don't know but this shadow is really nice it's very pigmented i'm trying to like not go so heavy-handed because I obviously want to try as many shades as I can um, without messing this eye look up. So that's everybody's scream. And then now I'm going to take a much smaller brush now. And I feel like going in with, um, let's go in with kind of like a tone here. I'm just looking outside. The weather's really strange today. Um, Halloween Town, which is actually a nice black shimmer, which I'm very intrigued about. So I'm going to go in with that very lightly. Um, and just see how we go because oh okay I'm just gonna tap it because I don't have my uh, sellotape on today <laughs> my sellotape is like my savior when it comes to doing like defined corners so I want to just blend this and see what I can do um, because my skills are not great so just blend this a bit more guys tell me what your fa who your favorite character from nightmare for christmas is i know everyone's gonna say jack um mine is sally just because she is just an amazing character like what she goes through like she goes through a lot of shit compared to like every other character so i feel like her as like the main girl is just fantastic i know jack is like everyone's favorite because he's the main guy he's just the one that everyone looks up to and is you know the bone daddy so yeah i'm, I'm gonna say sally let me know who your favorite character is so now i'm gonna go in that blended in quite nicely quite nicely uh i'm now gonna go in next with a much smaller brush because i want to kind of bring bring this out a bit more so we're gonna go a bit more edgy we're gonna go with what's this and it's basically um embossed with one of the kind of toy creatures that comes to life which i think is pretty damn awesome i wish i did more embossing they only have like 
two. <laughs> it's like, what is the point? You've got like two embossings, but the toys are a really big part of the film as well, of all the little toys that they make and that they give to like ha um, Christmas Town, which is quite funny. Um, okay, that very nice orange. I don't know what type of look I'm going for today. Like I said, I want to try and use as many shades as I can. I feel like on the other side, I might use some of the darker tones just to kind of blend in with that sh um, with that jelly shadow. Just going to bring that out a bit more. And then we'll finish on a shimmer on this side. So yeah, this is very pigmented. Colourpop are always just, for me, I've never been disappointed in any of their products. So... But yeah, that's looking pretty cool. And then now let's go in with a shimmer. Don't know which one. I might go in with Christmas Town, which is a very pink tone. Um, yeah, and just see how that works. So this is a nice flat brush by Spectrum. So you see it just here. I'm just going to tap that lightly here. Oh, it's come out quite nicely. Don't want to go too heavy handed on it because I want the other shades to kind of like show through. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool. I know it looks quite random because obviously I've only got like one side, but I feel like it blends in nicely. Like I'm trying to work with what I've got here. <laughs> um, but it's looking nice actually. I think. The pink kind of turns into a bit of a purple tone as well. Um, let me swatch it as well, just so I can show you guys. It's kind of like, not it's not duochrome, but it's kind of like when it flecks, it's got some purple to it. So that's really cute. Um, I think this palette was about $12, $13, which is pretty damn good. Like I said, I got a discount using uh, Shay's um discount code and i know a lot of other youtubers do have their own discount code i know robert walsh has got one um and i don't really know who else but i know that them two definitely do uh, i'm gonna go in my inner corner so let's go in with zero because obviously he is like the coolest dude ever and we're gonna put that in my inner corner and it's nice to have a, a little shimmer so that is very popping should we do something on my lower lash line let's be a bit different today I haven't done my lower lash line kind of look in a while so I might just take some more of like everybody's scream and just use that very slowly so I don't poke my eye out yeah soon because I filmed another video before this so basically I'm bulk filming videos again um because of work and the doorbell rang <laughs> in the middle of like one of the videos and two packages obviously this is one of them I was just so happy because I'm like, yay, it's finally here because otherwise I would have missed my delivery and I do not want to miss a Colourpop delivery. So I actually really like the way that this has come out. So if we have a quick kind of look, it kind of, for me, I like to trust the process because I don't, I'm not very confident when it comes to me putting on my makeup, even though I have a channel or whatever, but um. I think that's come out really nicely. That black has really given it a nice definition. So let's go in with the shadow now. I'm going to swatch it first because I want to see how it works. Because again, it's the first time I've used it. So it's actually got like a little plastic lid on there, which I'm going to take off the excess on there and see how it works. So I'm taking one of my clean fingers. Ew, it feels weird. <laughs> okay. So that is basically like a dark blue slash black tone um, and that dries down like straight away so that's pretty cool I might use that on like the bottom lid but at the top I might use one of the grey tones because they well this palette has quite a few of them so um, let's close that because I don't want it to dry out that quickly but it might do so I'm taking a fluffy brush and we are now going to go in with some of the top shades so let's go in maybe with meant to be because Jack and Sally are simply meant to be I love that song it always gets me like super emotional I don't know why because it just they realize that they're more than friends because you know Jack saves Sally's life and it just oh, 
the way that Doctor Who, I know I'm talking like this is like real life, but honestly, like this movie is so special to so many people. I know it's kind of turned into like, not a meme, but like a kind of stereotype, like if you're a goth, you love Nightmare for Christmas. And to be honest, that's true. Like places in the UK, for example, like Camden, every corner you went, it had a night it has a nightmare for Christmas thing because it's such a big thing now. Um, even though it's all like obviously counterfeit, but that's got nothing to do with me. But um I just yeah, it's just such a meme thing now that if you're an emo or goth you love Nightmare Before Christmas. And to be honest, it's a movie for alternative kids who feel different and feel a bit like strange because that's definitely me growing up and watching this film I kind of all the characters are just amazing and crazy and just beautiful. I just think it's such a beautiful film. The music is amazing. I'd love to see Danny Elfman like on stage performing because he's been he does that a lot recently now. Um, but I might go because it's not far from where I live, so I might see how much tickets are. Um, I'm gonna go in next with maybe in my bones. I might just take it on my kind of crease bit to see how it goes i think it's a black or like a re another dark gray um but yeah the music is just amazing obviously danny elfman is a fantastic like um composer he does pretty much 99.9 percent .9 of tim burton movies um and did you know he did the simpsons theme, theme tune as well which is also awesome he's also a musician that he um, bought out an album recently, and I know he did a collaboration with Trent Reznor, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, um, yeah, that shade is looking really good. Okay, right, let's blend this in a bit more before this video becomes like 20 hours long. Um, but you know what? I, I love getting excited over things like this because it makes me really happy. And I've actually been in a really good mood recently. Like, I'm not trying to get deep or anything but obviously during like lockdown and covid and everything i've been feeling really kind of depressed and a bit shit but now when i have like my new job and doing my videos and weird makeup collaborations that make me so happy and excited i just get really happy and it's my birthday in like less than a week and i'm just not that anything I'm, I'm not doing anything like i'm working that day but i'm actually looking forward to it because i've been kind of enjoying my new job so i will hopefully <laughs> see how that goes so i'm just gonna quickly put this on and see how it works because god help me if i mess this up i will just cry but let's see okay Ooh, this is interesting so this flat brush is just working really well okay I should just use a mirror that's in the palette because it's there okay I can't see much difference in there but it's definitely got some shimmer like it's got some crazy gorgeous shimmers in it and it's not like the thick glitter that they tend to have in their palettes which I do not like um which is actually not in any of these palettes but I know they always say don't use on your eyes and I'm like bitch it's an eyeshadow palette what do you want me to do with it <laughs> like I'm not going to put it on my face like the other side of my face um <clears throat> so excuse me um okay this is kind of looking really cute it's like a blue yeah I need to add a bit more because it doesn't seem like a lot is going on there um unless I use my finger but I don't know how that will blend out okay I don't want because I don't want it to be like too creasy or anything uh, fuck it let's just go in with my finger because oh it's gonna be messy but if it does the job okay yeah that is like 99% better okay, I should have just done that in the first place Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, I like these shadows. They're pretty cool. I've never tried the jelly shadow before. Um, wow, that is that's stunning. Um, do I want to put anything on my lower lash line? I might put some of the grey um, using a smaller brush. So I've got like all my brushes in front of me. Um, I might go in with meant to be just on my lower lash line just to kind of help it a bit pop in. 
if it works. Hmm. Okay. Not really coming up, but we're going to leave it like this. And I'm actually going to quickly tidy up this because it's turned into a bit of a mess. And what I'm going to do now, because obviously the last thing I'm going to put on is the lipstick. I'm just going to put on my lip liner, which is by Colourpop, and I will be back. Okay, so now we're going to go in with my Jack Skellington lipstick. I think this is the first time that I've tried um, one of the bullet lipsticks by Colourpop, and I'm very excited. Like I said, it's a very gorgeous red, and the lip liner shade that I'm using is called uh, Frenchie. So I need to give it a sharpen, actually. It's almost gone. So yeah, let's get this on. very creamy wow this is a stunning red oh my god wow this red is definitely the red that I love using um, I haven't used this type of red in a while mm. That is, that's really gorgeous. I love that red. It's probably not going to stay on for very long. Um, well, just because of transferring, because I, I mean, I'm going to have my lunch in a minute and I know that as soon as I eat or drink something, it's just going to go. But this is my finished look. I am so happy with this makeup. I don't know if I'm the only one. If you don't like it, then okay, that's cool. But I am actually really surprised that I got this kind of look from it. Um, yeah, I just, I love Colourpop and I really wish that they were more ready available in the UK. I have mentioned before, there is um, a UK brand called Beauty Box by Tammy, who she, I think, I guess they import a lot of their stock over and sell it. Um, and then with Colourpop, obviously, they're in LA, they're in America, but they're very affordable. Um, and I just love how this looks. It's obviously... Um, <laughs> trying to do the whole like thing but everything I think works and really comes so well together let me know if you picked up the collaboration and if you like it or if it's not for you but you're a fan of the film or you just don't like the film because it's so overhyped whatever I understand but from a personal perspective I really enjoyed this palette I enjoyed the lipstick and the eyeshadow I'm the, the jelly eyeshadow I'm very surprised at um it's going to leave a mark on my hand, probably for a day or so, potentially. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there and you get a closer look of any of the looks that I do. And I hope you guys are doing so well and I hope to see you guys again soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.